Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, wherever you may be. Welcome to Saturday Guild Meeting. Come on, welcome, 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 everybody. Uh, we are going to work on the triangles, and we just finished this up here, this row. This is for a future project. So let me just finish this, and then we will get to laying out some triangles, ch 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 triangles. Very nice, very nice. Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, hello, hello. It is a blowy minus seven or something, I think it is outside Celsius. It's not too, too bad. Um, we've got our driveway plowed of all the ice pellets, which was nice because it was about uh, eight inches, if not a foot in some places. I watched the plow go past this morning. It looked like just, just this wave. It was just like this huge wave of <laughs> of snow and ice pellets. So. <laughs> Good afternoon. Hello, all my golden friends. Hello, Chris Martin. Welcome, welcome. Hello, Becky and Kelly and Laurel and Suburban, Kathy and April and Deborah and Elizabeth and Valerie and Sharon. And I can't see any more on the list about that, Sharon. I'm sorry. And Susie. And Sylvia and Chris and Caroline and Kathy, Lois, Pamela, Elaine, Dawn. And suburban, hello, 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 Laura, hello, Pamela, Nina, and Kurt, well, Deborah, Deborah Davis, hello, Donna Faith, Donna Faith, yes, congratulations, I'm, I'm sorry about last weekend in, um, I think we was in, um, uh, 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 Tiffany's quilting chat, and the washing machine was acting a little funny, it's making some noise, so I went to go rescue it, came back, sat down, talked to Becca for a few seconds said hi to a few people and then I had to, the washing machine was really making some noise so I had to go back and deal with it and by the time that was it oh, I was like totally distracted so I forgot I was online so I apologize oh Mr. Speedworks oh Charlotte hello Miss Helly hello hello and Miss Miss Gwenny Miss Gwenny hurt her hand she was doing some cutting galore with her some of her charity quilts she got um, a bunch of fabric and she was trying to be like a super energizer bunny I'm sure and went and cut like 50 quilt kits for her guilds and stuff like that in like three days. So we can all feel her pain. And let's just wish her speedy recovery for sure. Hello, Pat. Hello, Miss Lois. Hello, hello. Hello, Kathleen and Valerie and Nancy. Hello, hello, little Stanley. Hello, Kathy Warren. Hello. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. Um, yes, how was Pat's birthday? We, I sang happy birthday to her yesterday. Hello, Miss Helly. Hello, Cheryl. Yeah, speedy recovery. Oh, Kelly Cruises. Yeah, I know. We all know how we try to, we overdo it, and then all of a sudden we hurt. Her, and then she sits there, like, she's got a pinched nerve and stuff. Like, I've done that before. I know. I've done that when, um, oh, did I load up another one in here? Put it, I certainly did. Okay, hold on. Let me finish this one, and then I'll put it away, I promise. <laughs> Whoops. Been doing that a little bit. Hello, Zella. Hello, Catwell. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yes, right, Nancy? Yes, speedy recovery. We all know how that is, especially when we hurt her hand. And it's her main hand, too. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's no batting in this. I'm just, uh, it's a three-inch strip of uh, the canvases, light canvas type material I have, and I'm just holding it in on its other like a, you know, it was a binding, but uh, we're sealing her up. Let me just finish this one and I will put it away. I promise, I promise this time. <laughs> mm, I bought a quilt kit yesterday that had been mocking me for a freaking month. Oh, okay, I couldn't stand it anymore. <laughs> Which one was that, Heather? <laughs> That's funny. It was mocking you, standing in the window going, buy me, buy me, buy me. Aren't my colors pretty? It's not binding. It's uh, it's just uh, the strips. It's uh, just strips of fabric. I'll show you in a second as soon as I get this done. I'll show you. I'll show you what, what I got have, but not what I got going on yet. I can't. I can't. It's a secret. We can't talk about those secrets. Hello, Jane. Welcome, welcome. Good evening, wherever you may be. Uh, 
Uncharted water. Oh, a Judy Niemeyer. Oh, bless your heart. Wowie. Yep. So do you mind me asking what you paid for it? <laughs> and how big is it and how long do you think it's going to take you? Because to teach one of her classes, you actually have to go through a whole course on how to teach her classes properly. So people are very successful in that quilting. Oh, Susan, welcome, welcome. How's Ontario today? Mm, Sending people, but not bad. So, oh, oh, what's going on? Uh, I'm, I'm good, Mr. Speedworks. We're good. We got, we got snow galore. I'm happy to send you some if you would like some. <laughs> All right. Okay. I've got the big baggie here. It's a whole bunch of other little strips. Okay. So hold on. I had it. I had a count in there, so I need to make sure I'm adding what I want here, or need to need to know what I'm adding. So, maybe 40, 41, 42, 43. Okay. So 43. And then I got these strips to do later. All right. Future project. You saw nothing. <laughs> yeah. Now we're gonna take this one out. It's pretty, pretty, pretty fabric. Hello, Leticia. Welcome, welcome, hello, Tracy. Oh hell no, I hate snow. <laughs> oh come on, Speedworks. Come on. We got lots. Like L O T S. Lots. A little, little design bag. Flip that over there. It's not in the way. Carpet. Maybe. <gasps> See, I'm not very secretive, am I? <laughs> Ain't no mystery quilt going on with this person. I tell y'all what's going on. Okay. All right. Oh, why, thank you. Thank you, Miss Nadine. This is one of the other shirts my sister uh, Elizabeth bought me. So, thank you very much. I said to Pop, it actually looks like I have some sort of a figure. I'm like, it's not just roly poly olies, you know what I mean? <laughs> um, what was I going over here for? Mm, oh, I wanted the squares off the back. Or the triangles. Okay, they are. So we got two rows done last week. We got uh, 22 uh, fabrics uh, put together, making 44. And then we did this start so far. Well, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. It's always, it's always nice to hear when something looks good on you. All right, and we're going to try and get the little more of the blue line and the green where they need to be, and then we're mixing these these pinks and light pinks and dark pinks um, with our oranges, reds, and yellows. Okay. Yes. How's your headache, Miss Nadine? Since yesterday. Yes, you do, Mad Moody. Uh, and the artist, Mad Moody, uh, is in the chat. This is her pattern. And please go check out her website. Okay. It was 280 with shipping, and it measured 68 by 68. And I went and bought extra borders on her website to make a queen. Oh, very nice. You know what? It's, it, it's, it's a lot of work, but it's going to be so beautiful when it's done. You'll have to show us the, the progress. That would be lovely. I've never attempted one of them. I've seen them and then went, ooh, and ah, and ah, and ooh, but I've, I've never, uh, never attempted one. <laughs> okay, so let's get some friends together and make some rows. Okay, so we're on the third one. So let's go a yellow. Oh, gone. Oh, good. Good, good, good. Oh, and she still's got kits available. Okay, there you go. It's, so it's madmoodingquiltingfabrics.com. Okay, and it's a Canadian company, so help, help, help uh, support a fellow, fellow uh, Canadian artist. Okay, now we got some blue. Blue, blue, blue. I'm feeling so blue, blue, blue. Not really. Okay, and now we got two greens. Two greens, two greens, 
two greens, two greens, two greens. Do 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 two greens, two greens, two greens, two greens, two greens. Then some pink and yellows and some reds. Mix it up. <laughs> I think it's going to be a year of paper piecing for me personally. Yeah. Yeah, that's about all the whole project is paper piecing. Yeah. Oh, she got upcoming surgery? Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Wishing, wishing the best for you, Miss, Miss Donna Faye. Yikes. Oh, no. But did you have a good birthday, though, Miss Pat? Did you have a good birthday? Hopefully the family spoiled you rotten. Uh, let's do this and a little of this and a little of that. This is really the harder part, is just laying out the colors so that it looks pretty. It's pretty as it's going down and around. Let's make sure we're staying, staying on course. So we need a red and an orange. Okay, so we'll take this. There was only two different reds? I thought there was two. Oh yeah, there we go. I was just going to say. Better. That red and an orange. Do, do. Okay, make sure we're keeping everybody in line here. Try and plan out two rows and then we'll go from there. I enjoy paper piecing too. You just got to be really right on. Read, read exact. I'm going to go look after this. I spend more money so my husband can say, what did you buy now? <laughs> Those are the best ones. <laughs> what did you buy now? And say, wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> then he goes, yes, that's why I'm asking. <laughs> So, da 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 And then last three is going to be a yellow, an orange, and a red. So let's go yellow. We have another yellow. We have another yellow. There we go. Yellow. Orange, and a red. Okay, there we go. There's that one. This one doesn't look very squarish to me, though. Well, it's just the way it was looking. I'm sure it's fine. Don't be so picky. Um, all right, next. Let's do this one. And then we'll do this one. This one. What are we going to do with this one? With this one. This one. And two greens. It's all about the green, but the green, green bay. Okay, and then two blues, two greens. Two blues, two green. Two blues, two greens. Two blues, two green. All right, and then I'll catch up on chat. Sorry. Focus, focus, focus. Must focus, focus, focus. Okay. All right. That's that. That's that. That's awesome. And then we'll sew them together. Okay. Because I don't want to get too confused. It doesn't take much from me, as you well know. <laughs> Look, shiny object. Mm -hmm. What happened to Kelly? Planning on starting another grad club today. Instead, I am sitting on my bed with a wreck. Oh, what low? Have you heard there will be no more dwarfs in Snow White? 
they can't take them. Oh, they're already there. I'm confused. <laughs> Kimono swatches. Yeah, that sounds cool. I think you can just set such beautiful, precise corners and stuff like that with paper pieces. I think to me, that's definitely the way to go. All I did, yeah, that's all it takes. That's all it takes. <laughs> okay, let's start from the other side. Right here. These two together. Not mix them. We were super careful when we had all the ice and the snow, no injuries, and I can't even get out of the bed properly. <laughs> That's usually, usually uh, what gets you. All right, turn my stitch down. 2.4. Yeah, we had a good time doing uh, Miss Ellie's um, grandson's birth announcement yesterday. That was, some, that was some good fun. Good fun, fun. Just take them out of the movies because they're, they're there. <laughs> we could do put blobs, redo the movie, or do away with the movie. Mm. I made it and we'll sew quietly. Oh, well, welcome, Quilt My Quilt Projects. Glad you're here. You don't have to sew quietly, <laughs> you can sew <sign> noisily. <laughs> Oh, very nice. Very nice. Thanks, nice, Mad Moody. Wonderful. Uh, thank you, Nancy. Thank you very much. It's really, it's, and it's like a rayon. It's really soft. It's probably silk. <laughs> so I better watch it when I go to wash it. <laughs> it's my first time wearing it. So it feels really nice. Include magical creatures instead of dwarves. Oh boy! Wow! What do we to ruin it? What's wrong with the dwarves? Like seriously, can't have a fairy tale anymore. I don't get it. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. You cut scraps into ten inches, five inches, and two and a half inch squares, and two and a half by one and a half inch strips. I find I need. Uh, to do a bit and then do something fun. Yeah, there you go. It breaks the monotony of it. And sometimes you just get like, I don't want to do this anymore. Mm. Mm, there's Miss Gwenny. Anyway, we were talking about you. We were wishing you healing thoughts there, girl. Hello, Miss Amanda. How you doing? Hello, Heather. It's nice to see you. I have nine pillow tops I paper pieced to finish for late Christmas on my side. We are meeting up Presents Day weekend. When's, when's that, Heather? When's that? I feel like it's soon. When's Presents Day weekend? We got family day this month. I'm just not sure what day it is. You think it's next weekend? No. Do, 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 do. 180, 160, one and one quarter squares for sewing. Oh my goodness, bless your heart. 160, and they're so tiny. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Cindy Wall. Big hugs to you, too. Hello, Miss Pam the Baker. Nice and sunny here, but cold, cold, cold. Yeah, well, it's not sunny here. We got blowy stuff all over the place. It really hasn't stopped blowing. But, uh, and it's about minus seven, minus seven or eight or something like that. So, 
It's not too, too bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why I got my uh, AccuQuilt Cutter too. there, Valerie, was to use it to utilize my fabric, but not, you know, break me in the process of trying to make squares. So I've got hexi stamp um, cutter, and I've got square, and I got half square rule, uh, half square triangle. So I got all all the basics. So uh, and and to be able to utilize the fabric as much as possible. Oh, oh, okay, thanks, Bam Booty. Okay. Are we taking the weekend for us, or are we still going to stream? We'll still stream? Okay, just want to make sure. No, we don't usually. Or, surprise, we're here on Monday. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, or it's the complete opposite. We may or may not be here. <laughs> James, how you doing? How's the boys? Minus 11 with wind chill of minus 18. Oh, brrrr. No tanks. No tanks. There was a couple days last week we were like minus 25 and 26. That was enough for me. Extra large stripology when I want to cut a bazillion squares quick. What's extra large stripology? Is that the ruler? Is that the, the funky little gapped uh, ruler there, Kathleen Davis? I've seen the name before, or at least I've heard it. So, hello, Virginia. Welcome, welcome. Hello, Susan. Hello, Sherry. Hello, Dolores. Hello, Brad. Hello, Lane. Anybody else I've missed come in? I'm really sorry. Bought the middle one. Okay, but I want to know what it is. I might have to look it up. Yeah, my, uh, stripology ruler. That is a ruler made by Creative Grid with slots for the rotary cutter. Okay, okay, okay. I ne I ne well, I've seen them, but I've never used one. Interesting. Well, it's better than you moving the the um, the, your plexi and then you're over. So. Oh, that's a great idea. It's a great idea. Hello, Marie. Welcome, welcome. How you doing? Good day to all, she says. She just got here. Well, you're just in time. No, you're just in time, Robin. Just in time. You're never late. No one's ever late. It is expensive, but well worth the money. Okay, Pat. Okay. Well, Mother's Day's coming up soonish. So... <laughs> yeah, it's something I can ask for from Munchkin. If he says, hey, I don't know what to get you. And I'm like, I would like this little ruler thingamabobber, maybe. I'll have to look into it first to see if I, if, I, if, I, if I have the cutters for it. Like, you know, but I guess it's different sizes, too. You could it'd probably go all the way from, well, I don't know, one and a half to four inches or whatever. Like, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, Jackie, welcome to the chat. Welcome, 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 welcome to the chat. Didn't you hear the word expansive, Elle? Yeah, so, yeah, may not be. <laughs> That's why I didn't want to buy it. He can buy it for me. <laughs> I didn't say you. The kid. Do do. Oh no, Miss Gwenny. Oh no. Okay, there's our third row. We're just going to lay it down. 
where it needs to be right here. And then we'll work on our fourth row and then we'll sew three and four together and then one, two, three, four together, okay? And then we'll sing the song. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. <laughs> no, not that song. Happier songs than the St. River song. Uh, it would be nice if Pop had a mic on. We can't hear his part of the talk. Sorry. Don't apologize. Nothing but trouble. Not me, you. Well, there you go. You saved yourself probably uh, money in, in uh, miscut fabric, right? So. <laughs> I was giving him the evil eye. <laughs> Apparently I'm not nice now. Oh. <laughs> I always ask and put a mic on. Is it that one there? I doubt it's charged. Oh, maybe. It's got a little life. A little life. Enough life. It's got green life. Lost me thread. Miss mm -hmm. Helly, can I get you to remove Malik, please? Pop, oh, our pop's got it. Okay. I thought he was looking on the, the, um, for the microphone. Hmm? I was. Did that work? Yeah, it looks like my microphone is working now. It's called, the fabric line is Figs and Shirtings. Isn't it beautiful? It's really lovely. I really like it. It's quite pretty. I love in the greens. I love green. Greens and blues are my favorite. So this like green right here is like, love it. Hi, Nancy. Yeah, I'd never seen it before until I t took it out of the package. It's very pretty. Very springy. I feel very springy doing it. And since we're so, so darn close. <laughs> Turn up my volume. I'll try it. See what happens. I gotta be careful because otherwise it'll overlap with mom's mic and then we'll have nothing but problems. Now remember, you asked for it, people. Absolutely. <laughs> All my back end comments. Hey, cool, Tessa. Thank you for your donation at the beginning of the stream there. That was really nice of you. Thank you very much. Of you. Greatly appreciate it. Uh, 
Um, I can't tell you that, Nancy Gus, because it's not my pattern, but the artist is in the chat, and you could go visit her website at madmoodyquilting.com. Um, my madmoodyquiltingfabrics.com. Sorry. Yeah. In, res in respect to the artist, I, I, I wasn't giving any way any cuts. So, but you could do this with any size of half, half square triangle. I think it would make a lovely little wall hanging in one and a half, uh, two and a half inch wall, uh, you know, like a little matching, um, like Barbie quilt or something like that, or a dolly quilt that matched the big one like this with some of the leftover pieces. I think that would be. That's okay. No worries, Nancy. I'm just I'm trying to be respectful. I don't want to be one of those people. Oh, you can tell them, Mad Moody. <laughs> you can type it in. <laughs> I'm not going to get in trouble. <laughs> Nobody, nope, nope. Sorry, oh. Julie. It's, oh. it's the donation goal for a 12-hour stream, not, uh, not us doing 17. Does it say 17? It, it's small, so it looks like it's cut off. I oh. think I'll have to. I was like, no way in Kaput. I can't even stay awake during the normal day for 17 hours. Ain't no way I'm streaming for 17. <laughs> 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 okay, we'd have to get some serious coffee involved, and I don't even drink coffee, so, like, that, that'll tell you. <laughs> 17. No, I don't want to get in trouble. No, and I want to be extremely respectful to the artists, you know, who, who you know, take the time to put all these beautiful projects together. Mm -hmm. I like sleeping too, Kathleen. <laughs> There's not even, I'm not even awake for 12, uh, 17 hours during the day. <laughs> uh, my dad just dropped off some flowers for me we were supposed to go shopping together yesterday in Vancouver after my mom oh I missed that well I'm sorry I'm glad you got flowers I'm glad you still got your parents thank you Rita Smith big hugs to you thank you thank you <clears throat> she's in the chat it's mad moody she's in the chat there frat oh I'm sorry it is mad MoodyQuiltingFabrics.com Sorry, sometimes I, I talk too fast. Alright, and then it's the row four, and then we'll press these squares, press the row, and then we'll sew the row together. Okay. And then we'll sew it to its other button. I like kind of doing two or three rows at a time. But you can certainly sew one at a time if you like. There it is. There you go, brat. Hello, Julie Quilts. Do all right. There we go. Oh, that looks lovely. Oh, so lovely. All right, let's give it a little press. Let's move our little piles. Yeah, the guy in the plow is like 6.30 down the driveway. He's like, we didn't wake you up. I didn't wake up, did I? I'm like, no, 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 light, lights were on. Already on my, my, my cup of tea. Hadn't figured out what we were eating yet. Or did we? I don't know. Pop me me scrambled eggs this morning. Maybe tasty. All right, that's row there. And then this one here. <coughs> Excuse me. It's looking amazing, Quilt Projects. It really is. Just got to make all your half square triangles. You need 196 for this project to make this size, to make the, the pattern and the shape it is. Oh, what, okay. Try to sort of figure out what try out pattern. I really like that blue and green going down the, that, on the diagonal there. I really, really love that. So... I'm trying to keep that as much as I can, but I'm being a little bit flexible with my 
reds and yellows and oranges on the other sides just to you know wing it up you know what i mean just just have to just have some fun with it mix in middle you know what i mean Mm -hmm. All right, now we will pin row three and four together, and then we'll pin that to the one and the two. All right, so we'll take this and we're going to flip it because we want to make sure right in here gets put together. And we want to keep those seams the as best we can okay. <clears throat> okay so we'll put a put a little pin in you can run it under the machine and and um snuggle them up against each other but i you know me i like i like i don't mind pinning <laughs> pin cushion stay here for a moment Oh, Steph, welcome. Hope you're okay. Haven't seen you in a while. I haven't seen Ann Hayward either. But I know she, her husband was going through some really tough stuff. <clears throat> hello, Seventy Acres. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. Thank you, Janine D, for the tip. Oh, thank you, Janine. Big, big hugs. Big hugs to you. Thank you. Thank you. We are good. Uh, sorry, you've been out of loop for a while. Oh, well, glad you're here now. Glad you're here now. Hello, Diane. Working on veterans' quilts today, so just watching, looking pretty. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Twelve? Oh my gosh, Carol. No thanks. We get enough. <laughs> I think we're good. I think we're good. Oh, oh, what am I missing about? Oh, who's crying? Oh, I hate it when I have to buy more fabric. <laughs> well, especially if it's a pat, you, you were doing something and then you like made a miscut on and then you got to buy some more. That's, that's the sad one. That's the super sad, sad. Okay, let's put those two rows together. Right. And thank you to Kathleen Davis for another tip. Oh, thank you, Kathleen. Big hugs to you. Thank you, thank you. <clears throat> yeah, it's so much brighter in person than on the pattern, but I looked at the website and prefer the other colorway, the garden style fabrics. Oh, is that for this, Tracy? Tracy Albert? Is that for this project right here? I've been out for a while. Had some. Bad news. Oh, I'm sorry, Steph. Big hugs to you. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Oh, very nice. I yeah. I I didn't I didn't uh, know about the kit until it was gifted to me. So. I'll have to look at the what was it the garden, the garden one. I'll have to look at that one. Yeah, there's a lot of snow. 166 flying geese. Labely. You can take flight soon. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot. 166. Wowee. Yeah, I shoveled out to the shop today. It took me about 35 minutes. 
to, to dig through the little pile, the snow um, plow left, and then to the rest of the shop from the day before's little shovel out. Pop wasn't feeling too hot this morning, so he went back to bed. Feels better now, though. Which is good. Oh, no. Oh, oh, oh boy. Need a kidney? I got one. Are you O negative? <laughs> I give it to you. It's good. Bob's shaking his head. He's like, what are you doing? You never know. No, he just was, he just, all, well, he was up early too. He was up at like four o'clock or something and then three, sorry, my, my mistake. So he went, went to back to bed about a quarter after eight and then slept for a couple hours. Sometimes nothing's better than a nap, you know, especially when you got up so early. You know you're not at the, at your top notch, right? So many years since they had real snow, stayed that stayed for weeks. I know many of you don't like it, but I do. No, and I, well, we just deal with it. I'm just kind of curious where the other more snow that usually gets in here. I mean, in for um, Nova Scotia, where's it? Where's it going to go? <laughs> Oh, I'm the, I'm the blood type that they always love to see because I'm compatible with everybody, so. Whenever I used to go do, donate blood at the, a certain hospital in, in Calgary, they'd give me an extra cookie to make sure I was coming back. <laughs> Who's audio, Lisa? Well, Pop's got audio on too there, Cindy, so. Or, or sorry, uh, I, I guess I got confused there. My, my mistake. Are you talking about the extra cookies to make sure I was coming back? <laughs> They're like, hey, we like you here. Could you come back? <laughs> All right, now we're going to put those two beautiful little four together. All right, so let's pin them, and then we'll sew the four, okay? Oh, okay. <laughs> well, they did. I thought it was funny, though. And then I found out why. You know, I found out why, they, I, you know, I'd get extra cookies, and they'd always ask, or, or they'd call. They go, if I hadn't shown up for a while, they'd call. I'm like, you stalkers? What are you, vampires? I got good blood. <laughs> and then I realized, oh, yeah, right. I'm compatible with everybody. Everybody love me. Yeah, we love all negative people. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I'm not getting any love at home. I'm going to go donate some blood. This is where people really respect me around here. I get extra cookies and extra apple juice, man. That's what I need. <laughs> None of this, you got to do the dishes and clean the toilet stuff. No, no, no. I want extra cookies and apple juice.
All right, now we'll put those rows together. Okay. Yeah, that's what they used to do to me because I was such I was so regular. <laughs> Show me love. Who loves me the most? Come on, people. <laughs> I'm full. Tap me out. <laughs> Uh, you're a negative for sure. Oh, and blood type? I was going to say, not, not your personality or disposition there, Miss Helly. You're pretty positive to me. I'm just going to have some water. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Just, just plain water. Well, it was my mom's second heart attack that kind of triggered things for me. I was only like 15 years old. So, um, and it was like, I was at the hospital anyways, and, you know, I think it was the nurse who said, hey, if you're not doing anything, and if your mom gives permission, you can go downstairs and donate blood. We're have, we have a blood drive going on, and that's how it all started. So... I'm all positive, but I have never donated blood because I have an A and B antibodies. I guess I don't play well with others. <laughs> They're fighting. <laughs> and it's interesting how some bloods work with others, and others are just so so bad against each other. Like, and then and like I don't know how more how prominent it is today but when we got pregnant with munchkin they were really concerned about our blood types right because obviously some blood types don't mix and that could be really harmful to the baby being one blood blood type inside the mom that's another blood type and they conflict so that i do remember a little bumpy lumpy there Yeah, that's what I mean, Heather. Like, it's, 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 you know, can be extremely dangerous for the child and the parent, right? Got a little lumpy bump there, too. Just work it through. Probably should have just left my walk in foot on. Yeah, that's what I mean, Heli, right? Like, and, and you don't really even think about these things. And you think of all the pregnancies that happened before this knowledge that may or may not have happened, right? Like, and the risk that came with, with the mix of, of the blood types. We've got a little bit of fabric in between those last two blocks there. So I'm just going to lift the foot to ease it a little bit. AB is called universal receiver cause, cause, cause it take anyone's, but O is universal donor, can give to anyone. Yeah, okay, there we go. All right, that's four rows. Give a little press in between, but I think she's looking spiffy. Oh, look how bright that is. Oh, I love it. Oh. <laughs> Thick. <laughs> it's looking pretty. Very pretty. Very pretty. And that's why we were talking about half square triangles, and we've talked about it many, many times, um, is... It really is one of the most universal patterns with one block, like one, one light half and one dark half, okay? And you take that and you flip, flop, attach, two, four, six, eight, make whatever. It's just, it, it's, you just come up with so many different patterns. 
and lays out and layouts, right? That looks that looks spiffy nippy. Love it. It is totally spring. It is totally springy feel. I love it. I love it, Steph. I'm happy to see you. And if you if you need to chat, you know where I hang out. Here. Alrighty, row fivey. Ooh, we gotta get a red down here. Let's get this one. Let's get a dark one. Oops. <laughs> get back over in the pile. It's new. Okay, don't need no rebels around here. It's pretty, isn't it, Nancy? I really do like it as well. Like they're all just going in the same direction, and it's it's simple, and yet it's it's very striking because of the way the the, the layout, right? So. Hello, Betty. I'm RH negative, and I had to get those. Oh, shots. Yep, yep, yep. That's what I mean. It's so, it's so crazy, right? You don't think having a baby's, you could, you know, something could seriously happen to you. Right? And yet, and yet it does. Mm, let's cut a bit of salvage on it. I'm not sure how I missed that one, but we'll save that maybe for an outside piece. There's one down here at the bottom, so we'll save that for that. Just try to put it off to the side, because I don't want the salvage in the middle of my block. So, goofy goof here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, there we go. So there. That one. And we've got a green. Okay. A nice green there. And then we've got two blues. And I've been keeping the same two blues in the order because there's only the two blues. So I kind of like the way they're looking with just the, the solid of those two and the lines up above. And I'm just changing all the other colors. So, you know, got to do it your way. Got to do it your way. Okay, now the yellow. Okay. Oops. Oops, I put that in the wrong one. Okay, sorry, wrong row. Oh no, hold on. Did I lose me? Got two blues. Oh no, I was right. I was right. Do this green. Maybe change this yellow. Let's change this yellow to this one. Oh. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. And then we need three reds, orange, yellow, orange. Three reds. And then orange, yellow, orange, orange, orange. Okay, there's that one. <clears throat> Who's a lucky dog? Oh, yes, she is. <laughs> Completely. All right, now I'm just going to take this one and I'm going to put it on the wall behind me, okay? Now that I have this row set, okay? Then I have to clean up that mess. Sorry? I have to clean up that mess on the floor. Yeah, it's poles for a shelving unit. <laughs> Let's move that up there. And get our next rose going. Bop, bop, bop. <laughs> <clears throat> Call to the door again to something. Um, 
Oh, kids taking Ferris out? Nice. Okay, now this one. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, there. Oh, this one I could use that one. There we go. She's snoring away. Can you hear her from over here? She's funny. My goodness. She's a funny dog. Here, let's do the other one. Like, seriously, this is like the most complicated part is trying to figure out what, what colors you want where. <laughs> Red. <coughs> At least I think so. Red. Orange. Red and orange. Okay. There we go. Let's do twos. Those two together. I'm getting a little chilly, so I'm just going to put my sweater on. <coughs> my arms are getting a little chilly. Sorry. I've ordered some new slippers, so I have one pair for the, the shop and one pair for the house. <laughs> I keep bringing them back and forth, and I've forgotten the, the slippers somewhere, like uh, in the house. And I was out here with my winter boots for like I'm like ah. It's like <laughs> so. Let's put this and this together. Well, it just saves because I end up tucking them into my jacket, and I almost lost them this morning shoveling because I tucked them in my underneath like my armpit sort of thing, <clears throat> to bring them out here. So. Yeah, and as long as they're they're the, they're almost the same slipper. I tried to get the same same slipper, but um, they didn't they didn't have it. They were sold out. And I was like, yeah. Hey, Mary, how's it going? Just uh, I think we'll kind of flip these and get them, and then we'll sew them sew them easy. Hello, Lynn. What's going on? With all these colors in the quilt, what board? That's a good question. I I thought I had a similar blue, but I don't, because um, I thought that would be pretty to accent out. So I may have to. I don't know. I may have to bust it up. There's a bit of uh, chunks to, that can go into the back, but I thought about putting them in the border. But uh, I think I'll put them on the back of the quilt. Oh, Miss Pauline, welcome. Happy Saturday. I mean, there's so many options you could do, right? You could do red, you could do white, you could do green. I mean, it's trying to find the right uh, orange or right green or right blue to um, uh, accent it off, right? So. Mm -hmm. There we go. Good advice there, Mad Moody. You gotta find something that's gonna complement it, right? So. Oh, thanks, Julie Quilt. Aw, thank you. Thank you very much. It's really appreciated. 
It hugs to you. A right, couple more, just, just a pin, and then we're good to go for this row. Well, we don't get finished up today. I'll finish up during the week, and I'll show it off next weekend. Okay. Oh yeah, Colt Marine's good. Yeah, yeah. I've been a big fan of him for for a while, well, a couple of years at least. Yeah, I made him a um, Canadian beaver block, and he hung it up on his wall for a long time. I have, I have one too, exactly the same thing. I made two. Sent one down to him, just to let him know he had some Canadian fans. Hey, Baze, how you doing? It's good to see ya. <coughs> Oh, oh, what's for dinner? What is for dinner? Munchkin's doing something with pork chops. It's her turn, his turn to cook, so. Wish us all luck. Sorry? Um, hold on, I can, I think I, I know where it is there, Patty. See, I can show you. Hold on, just give me a moment. Let me put it on the Sophie cam. Give me a moment to find what I was looking for. Mm, oh, here it is. Oh, in the, which I still have yet to frame. People have been joining us for our cross stitching. Oh my gosh, that's a mess. We can't show that. It's just a mess. But we can show this. To get it pressed up, I'll show it. Here we go, this one right here. I mean, exactly like it, and it hung up on his wall for the longest time. Well, thank you, Roxy. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Hmm. It is. It is really super cute, isn't it? Yeah. So I wanted him just to know he had some Canadian fans. So I made that and <laughs> mailed it off. It was got to be at least two, if not three years. So I'm trying to think of when he just started. Like he just just started. Start. Like I was like one of the first. 500 subscribers to his channel, so. Marine talked about it the other day. The, the block? Oh, I missed it. Oh. Yeah, I'm actually, I met her, uh, so, um, oh, geez, I, I forgot the name of it right now, so. Mm. I thought she lived in Ontario. I thought she lived in Ontario. 
names. So is in the name of the, so, oh my goodness. She was at one of our guild meetings and she, she was talking about it. No, I did not make the pattern, Taylor. No, I didn't. How's Portage? How's Portage today? I was actually, my sister Lisa phoned me yesterday. She texted me and I texted her back and then she said, are you still streaming? And I went, no, I can't stream and talk and text on the phone at the same time. So she called because we hadn't really chatted very much and uh, about hour and a half, 40 minutes later, so. Hmm. I did say, say what it was. I just can't remember the name of the name of the designer right now. I'm such a goofball. And we're trying to figure that out, uh, Jackie. Trying to figure out what, what um, um, the Canadian beaver block of the artist. It's, the so is in the name of the artist, and I'm really brain farting because I just can't think of it right now. Thank you, Pamela. Oh, thank you, Pamela. Oh, there we go. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Oh, Mad Moody's got the name. She does all sorts of like giraffes and uh, critters and mittens and um, uh, all sorts of uh, different, different, all sorts of different critters and patterns and stuff like that. So. So what fresh, so fresh quilts, so, so, so fresh quilts. There we go. See, I got it before I even had to look it up. So fresh quilts. Check her out. And her little image has got her and her daughter in the little picture. And she's, she's a really nice lady. It's on Etsy, apparently. You can find it on Etsy if you wanted to copy the pattern. She's also got one with an American uh, bald eagle, too. So you could do that as well. And that's a really lovely one. That's a lovely one as well. So alike? Oh, really? Oh, well, that would be interesting, Miss Gwenny. That would be interesting. Yeah, so so fresh quilts. I knew so was in it, and I'm like, is it fresh? Is it, what, what, what is it? And then I'm like, it is it. <laughs> so fresh quilt. <laughs> yeah, because I did, um, what else did I do? Hers? I did Rudolph. Rudolph is in one of our Christmas tree collections. Um, oh, thank you, Sherry. Working lots of overtime right now, so I thought I would send a little your way. Oh, thank you, Sherry Harris. Big hugs. Hugs to you. You guys are awesome and amazing. And you really want that next 12 hour, don't you? <laughs> Miss, Miss Helly was having what, tacos or something like that? That's not very good. But as well, when he was collecting QOV blocks to make quilts. Yeah, that's, and I sent him a block as well, but I wanted to send him. You know, a little little love from Canada there, Miss Donna Faye. So that was a long time ago. A long, long time ago in a fabric land I'll never know. <laughs> Tortillas did sound yummy. Actually, I found, uh, I've been craving like hard tacos, like the taco shell and stuff, but I don't like the store-bought stuff. It's horrible. They, it tastes like cardboard. It, but you'd, we actually have better tasting to flavor cardboard and eat that instead. Um, so I found a nice tortilla recipe and then I know you can um, tuck them and support them or flip them over the rack in the oven to, to make them into the harder shells. So I'll, I'll be trying that this week sometime. So the recipe says it makes eight tortillas, but uh, I, I, like, I like big things, so it probably only makes like six. A quilter's home, different entirely. Sorry, I thought it was hers. Oh, I'll have to look her up though, though, too. Three days of tacos. <laughs> I just have a craving for them. We haven't had tacos in like forever. I literally cannot remember. 
The last time we had to anything to do with tacos, it was like the restaurant style tortilla shells with ground beef on top and then cheese. And then I had tomato and lettuce and, and stuff all chopped up on the side, ready to go um, for like, I guess, open face tacos or I don't know, nachos, but. But I really want like the hard taco shell. I just want to crunch it into it. My dad did not like pizza, said it tasted like cardboard. Well, some of the crusts, if it's not, if it's not made with like an olive oil or a butter and it's not salted properly, then it can very much taste like cardboard. I agree. All right, so we got that row done. Let's pin the other one. Boop, boop, boop. Let's get some water here for a moment. Stretch ourselves. Are you making fun of me over there? <laughs> See what I have to put up with people? Nothing but trouble. Want chips and cheese? Yeah. Okay, Gwenny. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, it would be nice to, to, to do a, a, a Canada Day's coming up. So if she's got something uh, similar, I wouldn't mind doing it. You have to remember to stretch. You, or you're going to get bunged up shoulders and you're going to not figure, you're going to figure out why you can't put the plates in the shelf because you, you didn't stretch and stuff like that. Cinnamon bun rolls. Okay, all right. You, you got me confused there, Roxy, because... The only reason why I question you is because, to me, a cinnamon bun is the sticky topping. You, you put the sticky stuff down first, and then you put your rolls in, and it's still got the cinnamon and sugar and all the doodads and whatchamacallits and all the other things you want to stuff in there in the roll, like, you know, raisins or, or, or nuts or something. But a cinnamon roll is the one with the white icing on top. It's baked bun and then with all the goodies on the inside and then it's the white icing on top. So which one are you making? <laughs> so cinnamon bun rolls, are you getting sticky top and sticky bottoms? I'm all there, man. I'm all there. Just we're going to need a couple wet wipes because <laughs> I will be tucking in. <laughs> Oh, really? It must have been cinnamon roll day and I missed the memo. <laughs> yes, double. So the hubs asked me the same question. <laughs> okay. Because <laughs> somebody asked me when I, uh, if they were cinnamon buns or cinnamon rolls that I was making. I think it was when it was rising and the rolls were just rising. They were looking all so good. And I was like, uh, okay, there's a difference. Let's go look it up. All right, there is a difference. So, yeah. You guys taking sticky buns? <laughs> I need a recipe to me like four cinnamon rolls. Likewise, we eat way too many of them. Yeah, I hear you. Everybody just gets like one. That's like uh, Cinnabon Cinnabons. You can't just have one unless you're Pop because he doesn't really like them. So, <laughs> what you can't have just one of is uh, Krispy Kreme donuts. And I have to say, uh, we visited the uh, Krispy Kreme place last summer in Ontario. And um, it was it was a good thing it was only once that we were there because we could have eaten that place uh, like every weekend. You can, you can have just one box. Yeah, well, yeah, I know. <laughs> and I loved them just the way they were. And then someone said said to me, um, "Oh no, I read it on the box. I read it on the box. Put it in the microwave for like three seconds or something like that." I'm like, and it melts in your mouth. I said, "I don't need it melting anymore." At that point, time, I was just start rubbing it on my hips. <laughs> You hate Krispy Kreme. I only had it the one time. All right, all right. Let's sew our row. I like me a good homemade donut, that's for sure. 
Thank you, Anonymous. Oh, thank you, Anonymous. Big hugs to you. Holy moly, we're getting up there, babe. Getting close. Mm-hmm. My hands are really chilly for some reason. Using the bread machine recipe for the uh, for just the dough. I used to do that all the time there, Roxy. Let it do all the work, for sure. Let the bread machine do it and then pop it in. I used to do that with my uh, Jewish Jewish kahala bread. That was that was awesome to make. Used the bread used the bread machine to, to mix up the dough and then put it in the formed it and put it in the oven. Cake donuts with your tea. See that's not people are like, is it a rise donut that they like or a cake cake donut? But then you can also be uh, liking uh, fritters and like, uh, what is it, bear paws and apple fritters, or bear claws, sorry, bear claws. I think that is a, pr a proofed dough uh, as well for bear claw. Mm -hmm. Dunkin' Donuts over Krispy Kreme. Ah, Dunkin' Donuts. We had Dunkin' Donuts. We had... No, we don't, do we? I don't think we've ever had a Dunkin' Donuts. Tim Hortons suck butts. They're donuts. <laughs> Sorry, they do. <laughs> they used to be awesome. They're honey crawlers, or crawlers, honey crawlers, honey crawlers, whatever. Depending on where you're from. Um, those were my favorite. They look like a tractor tire, but they're literally so soft and fluffies. Tim's sour cream glaze. Too eggy and airy. Yeah, I, I like them. I like them. I, I could eat way too many of them. Thank you, another anomalous. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Thanks for making me laugh. <laughs> Duncan Apple. I have to, well, whenever we go down there, which we will eventually, because we're going to take over Vegas with the So Yeah Brothers. I think so. We'll do that eventually sometime in the future. And when we go down there, we'll let everybody know. So if you want to come hang out in the same hotel with us, that would be awesome too. We can all like storm them together. Come on, bring our little quilt kits or something. <laughs> yeah, we are getting really close. Fantastic apple fritters at Granny's Fruit Stand. Yes, yes, I have been there, Miss Kelly. Been there. Yes, yes. Oh, I gotta go at the top here. I missed that part. Note to self, must sew completely down the block, not just parts of it. <laughs> they used to be my favorite, Karen, but they don't make them the same anymore. I'll try keeping to order those little pies when we do pick them up for groceries. They're always out of stock. It seems it's going to have to bite the bullet and make pie crust. I, I have a really good pie crust. It's really, I follow this, the one on the tender flake package. Oh, thank you, Steph. You guys are amazing today. Thank you, thank you. Big hearts. Big hearts and loves to you. We're going to do something a little fun and whimsical next uh, Saturday for Valentine's Day. I'm going to get my scrappy red fabrics and we're going to make something crummy and scrappy and then we're going to cut it into a heart and then we're going to applique it down onto some fabric and it's going to be turned into a wall hanging so. to hang up in here. So Get some of our funky threads and some beads and... Yeah, it's my favorite. It, it's uh, ask Pop like it's his favorite favorite pie crust. Whether for butter tarts, for apple, for any kind of pie, for even a savory pie. Not Thank just you, Anonymous and uh, Jackie. Oh my goodness! Thank you, Jackie and Anonymous again. <laughs> Anonymous, Anonymous. Anonymous. <laughs> Thank you. 
I think so too, Lynn. <laughs> that, that was good tortilla with a lot of greens. Greens what? Green. Don't say green peppers, man. Because I'm allergic. <laughs> no thanks. Greens. Greens what? Greens. A lot of greens. And then green lettuce. Green onions. Green. Green cabbage. Green. I don't know. I'm running out of greens. <laughs> Phenomenon. <laughs> Phenomenon. <laughs> Salad, tomatoes, carrots. Oh, very nice. Hello, so Patch. Happy you're here. Welcome, welcome. Hello, April. Well, happy you're here too. You guys are amazing today. The bomb diggity. The diggity bomb. I know. <laughs> Remember the puppets, the alien puppets? Phenomenon. Phenomenon. I love the Muppets. Love the Muppets. Even the two trolls up in the crowd. <laughs> Collard greens, mustard greens, turnip greens, beet greens, carrot greens, <laughs> are all yummy. <laughs> Statler, yeah, yeah, Statler Waldorf. I was thinking Waldorf, I couldn't remember the other guy's name. I was going to call him Stetson, but I knew that was wrong. Couple more blocks and then we can put some rows together or these two rows together. Yeah, the grumpy old men. It was a lot of times I didn't get their jokes because I think the Muppets was more of an adult show than it was a kid's show. I mean the kids got what they could out of it, but it was definitely more of an adult show. to Vegas next Friday. Very nice. Are you going to see the crew? Oh, give them big hugs. Say, Mom and Pop Quilt Chops. Give you big hugs. <laughs> yeah, I heard that. Down Fraggle Rock. Down Fraggle Rock. That was such an awesome show, too. All right, let's give these two rows a press and then we'll pin them together. Okay. A smurf. <laughs> really good documentary on Sesame Street. I think it was on HBO. I think there was was one of the the um, the the one who plays Elmo. I've seen that one. Yeah, conjunction, junction, what's your function? That's okay. Still to this day, 
I'll say to Munchkin when he goes to the store, get a, a quart of milk, pound of butter, and a loaf of bread. A quart of milk, pound of butter, and a loaf of bread. <laughs> Some of the best shows, I'm telling you. Educational, catchy songs. Okay, make sure we're doing this right. Hold on. Don't, let's not have a dork moment. One, two, three. Yes, we are. We're doing fine. We're doing fine. No worries. We're doing fine. Little Dozer's always constructed something. Yeah, I know, right? That's Fraggle Rock. And they have no faces. They're so weird with the no faces, though. They just have their cute little helmets. Romper Room was one of the best, definitely. Definitely. Oh, yeah. Remember Schoolhouse Rock? Definitely. Definitely. Looking through the magic mirror. I know when we first started off doing live streams and I'd say hi to everybody and someone says, I feel like I'm in romper room. <laughs> I'm like, well, <laughs> I just want to make sure I'm saying hi to everybody. <laughs> Captain Kangaroo. Yeah, love Captain Kangaroo. And, and uh, Mr. Rogers. And uh, what was the other one? Mr. Rogers was with Finnegan, right? Yeah, Mr. Rogers was with Finnegan. No, that's... Hold on, what am I thinking here? Uh, not the mama, yeah. <laughs> that really got popular with the dinosaurs, that evening um, um, comedy where there were like the puppeteers, the big dinosaurs with the baby. Not the mama. That was Mr. Dress. I couldn't think of it. Thank you, thank you. Mr. Dress Up with Finnegan. Yes, 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 yes. Mr. Rogers was the educational one. Yes, yes, yes. Friendly Giant. Oh, yes. Yes. That was a good one. You okay? Hmm. Sounds like you slipped or something. Oh. It's windy. Yeah, it looks really windy. Like it's, just, it's going this way, and then it's going this way, and then it's swirly whirling, and so it makes it chillier. Yeah, well. Yeah, Muppets were always my favorite there, Eva. Definitely. Yep, memories. Memories down the old public stations. <laughs> Mr. Rogers, my mom said Captain Kangaroo was mean off camera. Oh, really? Oh, it's not good. Look up, look. Look up, way up. What do, what do we do? Hi, Linda. Happy, I hope you had a good birthday. Oh, uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I mean for the friendly giant. Yeah. Jolly green. No, it's not the same thing. Jolly green giant is a vegetable, dude. And him green and him a giant. So him like half asparagus. <laughs> mork, mork, mork. I don't do a lot to speed a chef. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, where's my pink cushion? I'm glad you did. Glad you did. Sorry I wasn't there to party with you. Gumby, oh yes, yes. Gumby and Pokey. I had a Gumby and Pokey uh, stuffed animals. Hello, Billy. How's it going? Welcome, welcome. Yes, Miss, Miss Kelly Cruz has heard herself just existing, <laughs> which I do all the time. Remember, remember I had to cancel a stream once a couple years ago. But I was bent, I bent down to pet Sophie and rub her belly and give scratches and show her all love and stuff like that. And I pulled a back muscle. And I literally could not, I couldn't. I was, I was crying. 
Munchkin was running to the pharmacy in Erin to go get me some Robaxacet. I was like, I was, yeah, nope, nope. And it's literally bending down to love the dog, and I pulled the back muscle. Tight paper. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. <laughs> uh, we don't have cable television, Lucy, so I don't know what that is. We haven't had cable television in about 11, I was thinking 12 years. It's got to be about 12 years now. Sorry, honey? No. no. Okay. Clangers. Clang clangers? Clangers. Clangers. Oh, I'll have to look it up. I I know, it's just like, oh my goodness, are you kidding me? And I couldn't it was so painful just trying to get uh, in bed or out of bed but once you got to either one of those positions it was okay but it was the exhausting pain of trying to get out of bed <laughs> oh no it's a uk only show oh okay and there was um one winter, i pretty sure now that I'd, I had my ankle uh, x-rayed because we thought I, I, I broke my toe, you know, a while ago. Um, but I didn't. But I, I had a fractured ankle at some point in time. And I know when I did that was at the chicken coop. I just collected the eggs, stepped wrong on the snow pile, and it gave out from under me and twisted my ankle. And it was, yep. I could barely even get my boot off that day. In fact, I didn't want it to come off because it really, really hurt just touching. <laughs> but I didn't realize I fractured it at that point in time. I just thought it was a really bad sprain. So, all right, let's press these together. And then we'll lay out two more rows. And that'll be eight out of the 13, I think, or 15 or something. So, be over halfway there. It was very, it was extremely painful. Like I said, I didn't realize I had fractured it at the time. I should have, I knew I should have went and got an x-ray. Because it was, um, the next day, uh, it was so icy uh, in the driveway, I couldn't get to crossing guard, so I had to walk. I couldn't get the, the Jeep out of the driveway. It was all iced in, so I had to walk, and I had to walk on the road in the ruts of other vehicles to get down to crossing guard. Only to cross like one kid because <laughs> the buses were canceled. Yeah. Let's put this, let's put this over here. Forty five last week. Wowee. Wowee. Okay, make sure oops. Got our our buddies in the right direction. Okay. So we got rows five and six there. Now we need seven and eight. Okay. All right. Now let's start this off. Do, do, do. Shut ourselves up for a legged show. Oh, thank you, Brad. Wow, you guys, you guys are just amazing today. Really, really appreciate your guys' show of love and affection. It means a lot. It really does to us. Okay, let's just not get too confused there, Buttercup. Don't get too confused. Aren't you amused? Oh, get down there. Okay. Oops. Go back to where I was. Does anyone have any tips for my 14-year-old daughter on 
how to function with a broken ring finger. My idea would be to tape it and get back to work. Yeah, pretty much. Tape it and uh, and look after it. Don't yep. let it don't let it bump. I think the better question, Heather, is is who actually does write these days? Most people type computer stuff and Oh, I'm trying to do seven and eight. I was like, wait a second, this is not lining up here. I was getting a little confoozled. Hold on here. Okay. Start off with the wrong one. No wonder you're not getting anywhere fast, dork dork. Okay, here. There's a two, there two, that two, that two. Make sure we're on the still right page here. There. Yellow. And then. I'm trying to red. That one. Yeah, we'll just probably sew that one together. Okay. The pins. Well, I had to use my left hand, learned how to use my left hand when I broke my right one, so. So I'm a little ambidextrous in some things, but other things, it's strictly right hand. Even further things, your knees are Yeah, <laughs> really. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I snorted, I'm so sorry, I snorted in your ear. So sorry. Epic streamer. So sorry. Always makes me wonder when, you know, a left handed pops up in a family of right handed, you know. Uh I I have no no issues with it. I have no issues with it. <laughs> I've got chicken scratches, so, you know. There was uh, maybe one or two words I would be like, oh, I'm trying to figure out what she's saying here. And then, but Munchkin or Pop will help me. So. Okay, let's sew this one. So there's a little bit of room here. I was going to say, I enjoy getting letters from Miss Gwenny. Yes, Helly, we're planning on it. Uh, we're hoping to have the uh, 
chicken coop built early to mid-March, depending on weather, and uh, hopefully we'll get all that done on HHL, so you'll be able to see it happen. That's okay. There's a um, a telephone plug in the um, dining room and an old cable plug, like they're one right above the other. And I was moving boxes around and Munchkin saw it or I was trying to not hit it with the boxes or something like that. And he asked what that was. And I looked at him and went, um, well, that was the old phone system. You had to plug your phone in there, and it was attached to the house. And this was where the cable came out of. <laughs> and then you had to splice it wherever you wanted it in the house. <laughs> it was just the, you didn't know what it was. Didn't know what the connections were. Yeah, I'll have to find somebody who's got some eggling and then some younger hens so we could uh, continuously have um, eggs because I don't want to do what I did last time was raising for like nine months before they actually started laying so you don't want to build a snowman <laughs> oh you know uh, yeah we don't want to build in the snow no it may take a little longer to get it all sorted but you know that's that uh, we we kind of got a bit of a plan I've heard of a lot of people say they are using sizing instead of spray starch. What is the difference? Sizing? Sizing? I would, I think it's just another, it's like a starch, but I don't, I don't know. I'd have to look, I'd have to look it up. Does anybody else have an answer in the chat? Oops. Excuse me, my cups. You love being different than them. <laughs> Wasn't it a Homer Simpson that he bought a completely left-handed item store? Wasn't that? I thought that's one of the Homer Simpsons. Everything was left-handed. The uh, can openers, the scissors, the the knives, all of it, all of it was left-handed. Well, that's what I was thinking, Sylvia. So I was trying to figure out why would you use one and not the other? So I was like, well, maybe there's something different and I just don't, I just don't know about it. So yes, it was the Simpsons, okay. <laughs> Once again, an adult cartoon. <laughs> Are you sizing is not as strong as spray starch? Oh, okay, thanks, Mary. Yeah, I would have been just a spray starch too, sort of thing. It's a lighter starch. Okay, so it doesn't stiffen the fabric. Well, sometimes you want that stiffer bit for when you're cutting and piecing. You want a little bit of stiffness. So maybe it's for other projects, like maybe, I don't know, blouses or clothing making. I went to uh, school with somebody like that, Linda. Yeah. All his parts were on the other side.
Oh, well, thank you, Miss Lois. Thank you. That's perfect. There you go. Starch and stiffens. Okay. Is it best press sizing? Uh, hold on. Where's mine? I think I have mine right here. Um, oh, this is Mary Ella's. Oh, it is breast press. Okay, what's it say on here? Um, clear starch and sizing. Alternative. The clear starch and sizing. Uh, okay. Caribbean Beach. Yeah. Mm. Caribbean Beach smelly flavor. <laughs> smelly flavor. Right, let's press this. Uh, the peach one? I didn't even know they came in other flavors. So I've seen the green. Is that no no that would be something else. Probably like tropical something sunshine or whatever. <laughs> Okay, let's pin this one together and then we'll pin it to the others and then we'll and then we'll see what the time is. Peach one, peach one. And that stuff ain't cheap, right? Those those bottles are like forty five bucks. Well, I think that's what I paid for mine. It was like forty two or something like that. All but unscented. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> Standalone fabric. To pre-treat before weaving. Oh, okay. Took y'all out to my chicken coop just now. Hope you enjoyed the show. Yes, we did. How's the chickens? <laughs> How many you got? Do you got mixed breed or do you have them all a certain type? Hello, oh, Bev. I use spray sizing all the time. It's a little lighter, but if you want a heavier, you just bring a little more on iron. It down doesn't stick to your iron the way regular starch does sometimes. Okay, well, good to know. Eight different, all different types. Got six, eight. Very nice, very nice. It's just enough. Sorry. I want to bounce these off my sewing machine and on to the floor. I'm trying so good to keep things off the floor. I don't want Sophie getting them in her paw. 
since she walks behind my table all the time now, right? So I have to be a little bit more careful. Uh, have you heard how your chicks are getting on a new home coop? I, uh, um, you mean they're old, our old chickens? Yeah, I messaged her not too long ago and asked her how the weather was and how bus driving was and stuff like that. She said the chickens are adapting just fine, so. From my understanding, they're, they're, they are all good. And I just wanted to give her a little thank you again for taking them and looking after them and giving them a new home when they, they needed one. Yeah, they did settle in well. They had a whole spot for themselves, which was like, like I said, a hundred times bigger than what they had where I was or where I had them. So, I mean, they are, they're li definitely living the posh life. They had a little creek running through their little pad. They got big trees that were shading them. and I mean, they had big trees where we were too, in fact. But... Yeah, so, there you go. But she did tell me she lets them run around free and things happen and I can't be sad. And I'm like, I won't be sad. It's, I understand. She takes all the, all the little ones, all the chickens I need at home. And she's got two really big dogs too. They did not like Marcus. <laughs> And, and they kept saying, if they, the dogs have never seen anybody with facial hair. They don't know what you are. <laughs> you're, you're just a big dude right now. <laughs> okay, let's press this row down, and then we'll attach it to the four behind me. And then we'll see how pretty that's going to be looking. Uh-huh. Very nice. She windy. I'll take this one and we'll lay it right on top. It'll pin all the way down. And it's almost halfway done at this point. Like I said, I'll finish it up during the week. And we'll see what it looks like next weekend. And see if I found anything that would kind of go around it. Oh, Kelly's got to go. Okay, bye, Kelly. Big hugs. Uh, why we moved? Because uh, we couldn't build the quilt shop retreat where we were. So there's no point in being there when we have dreams. So that's why we moved two prov three provinces away in over 2,000 kilometers. There was nothing holding us in Ontario, you know. So it was an opportunity when we can work from home, all three of us. It was an opportunity to open the horizons and look beyond the space that was there. So, and welcome, Agnes. Hopefully that answers your question. Did you have anything else? My mom embroidered towels at Christmas and placed 
A chicken with the saying, naughty chickens, my devil days. <laughs> yeah, I like that one, that's cute. <laughs> I saw there's a shortage of flowers. Yeah, I wouldn't doubt it. Yeah, no thanks. I'm good for, I'm good for my flowers. I got some beautiful ones for my birthday. And they lasted well, well till Christmas. Do I miss it? Yes and no. More on the no. I miss the kids. I don't mean I don't miss the BS and the the high risk of getting run over every day because of people who can't see in front of them. Yes. Why are we asking this? Yes, I am. Losing the upper corner, and I'm, I'm going the right way. I know, but now I'm questioning myself. Well, I don't know, is it? I can be an idiot sometimes, you know, so. Okay, all right. <laughs> Yes, I do, and I know the song. It would be a lot of Jack. Daniels. <laughs> Not Jack the Ripper. Yeah, oh, tequila. <laughs> As I just see, I clean the little jug and the little pulse down. I'm like, all right. We've got some fruity drinks coming in after this <laughs> cult show. I said, even if it's just a fruit smoothie, right? Like, <laughs> I drove school bus, qu quit so I could work from home and make 18,000 more. Miss my kids every day, but it was the right decision. Well, that's what I was making an investment in myself, and I was doing lots of jobs. Like, I had. At one point in time, I, I worked five jobs, so and it was it was exhausting, mentally exhausting, physically exhausting. Um, and then it was like, all right, I have to focus. Drop this. Did for another six months. Drop the other one. Another six months. Drop the other one. And then it was like, slowly, slowly, slowly. But I kept the babysitting until the kids didn't need me anymore because I promised their mom that, that that's what I would do. She couldn't, she couldn't rely on anybody else to look after her kids before and after school. So, and, and, um, and her son was unique and she knew he was unique. So it's not like a lot of people would tolerate his unique behavior. Let's just put it that Pop and Munchkin did not want to, to be around him when he was in the house because he was, was, he was a unique child. But it's true. It's true. You guys had a difficult time dealing with him. Absolutely. Okay, the fact that you weren't makes it all the more. <laughs> Not at that time in the morning you weren't. <laughs> Anyways, he was my big uh, problem. Thank you for the came to visit my website. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Mad Moody. I hope you pop into our chat every now and again. And we'd love to have you here. And if you want to collaborate on a project or something like that, or want to make some kits and want to promote it, I'm happy to, happy to do that for you and give me maybe a little, little mom and pop discount or something. I don't know. Let you think, think on it. It doesn't have to be a huge kit, you know what I mean? Like it could be just sm something small. Oh, how did that get done there? But that would be really kind of fun and interesting if you're if you're um, keen on that. If not, no worries, no worries. I might have to come and check out the website site and see if I can find a border for this fabric.
Uh, I do call center for the Department of Defense. Oh my goodness, the DOD. I would love to try and make a kit where everything is cut out from the start. That's kind of what I had planned for the AccuCool cutters, making like kits like that where it is all cut between the half square triangles, the squares, and some straight pieces. So I bet you take it serious as well you should. As well you should. Okay, let's. Scoot these buddies off to the side here. Oops. Let's give this a little heat and loving. Yeah, I bet a lot of stress too. See what this looks like. Okay, this is what, seven rows? So we're almost halfway there. Almost halfway there. Ooh, that's looking pretty. Hmm. It's very cheery. Very, very uh, spring and summery. Like it may make a great picnic blanket or picnic quilt for sure. Yes. <laughs> no, she wouldn't, but that's okay. <laughs> yeah, that looks lovely. That looks lovely. Yeah, I'll get some more done on it this week, for sure. For sure, for sure. Yeah, and it won't take long. It'll take a, just to lay out the rows and sewing them together, make sure they got their little seams and they look pretty. They're all lined up. green that was a video a uh, couple of weeks uh, last weekend no it was last uh, I we did the one for the giveaway not last week in the weekend before so because um, Michelle won it right and I mailed it off so uh, it is there is a video there is a live stream I do a blue and black one just like it I it's a, t a table runner for um, our kitchen table it's a nice thick one, so it looks it looks pretty. So it's just a matter of putting half uh, the squares on the back. Yeah, it's uh, what did we call it? Mm, oh, it was a um, custom table runner design or custom something. It is a very cheery quilt top. Thank you, Chris. I appreciate that. Tony's Valley look. It's um, figs and shirtings design. So yeah, how big is it? It is gonna be when it's finished. It's only I think there's 15 rows and I've got seven done. Uh, 59 by 67. It is very cheery. Anybody have any questions about today? Like I said, next Saturday we're going to take our scrappy red fabric and have some fun and do like a crummy collage sort of combobulation with our fabrics and just have some fun and just and just make a mess and then we'll cut it into a shape of a heart and then we'll applique that down onto another background and then we'll turn it into a wall hanging. Thank mm -hmm. you.
from school year four times so far this year. He's only oh my goodness, that sounds like my girlfriend's kid. She didn't. He didn't want to be at school, so he asked if he could go to the bathroom, and he went out onto the front steps of the school and did his business out there. So his mommy would have to come pick him up because <laughs> he didn't want to be there. <laughs> And once he found this worked, yeah, he, he used that a lot. Yeah, how does kindergartner get suspended? Well, <laughs> there's a few of them I've seen get suspended. <laughs> yes, I do. Yes, I do. Especially when you've got seams and little seams really close to each other. I put it on the base stitch and just go all the way around. Because I don't know how long it's going to sit somewhere in a box. And if you go to pick it up and you, whatever, it doesn't take much to rip that, right? It doesn't take much to rip this down. So definitely stay stitch all the way around. Uh, yeah, it's just over there. It's over there, um, Mary. It's just because it's so bulky. And once we get really things where they need to go, go, and there's more floor room, I'll set it up. It'll probably just go right beside me here. There you go. There you go, Cindy. Keep keeps you busy and keeps all the, the munchkins busy too. Thank you, Pauline. Thank you for your banana bread recipe or banana cake recipe. I plan to try it. A quarter of an inch, yeah, all the way around, or about an eighth, an eighth to a quarter, somewhere bouncing in between there. So just as long as it gets done and it's really it's close to the edge. I tried uh, Melissa's chocolate, uh, sorry, Melissa's banana bread, and I did it in a uh, bunt pan, and I put chocolate chips in it. I put uh, uh, semi-sweet and milk chocolate, and it turned out amazing, and it disappeared within like a day and a half to two days. <laughs> it was gone, so I'll try your other one later. <laughs> How difficult is a learning curve with a long arm machine? Well, it depends on what you want to use with it, Susie. And the machine, yes. Um, there's so many different machines out there. There's some that are just like you got a sewing machine and it's hooked up to a rack. Um, you know, I don't, I don't know how those play out. I, I know how my uh, Gamel Statler stitcher works, and um, it does have drive belts on it. It runs much, not not runs much smoother. It stitches smoother in a free motion way if it's off the the controlling belts, the drive belts that it has. So. Um, so I definitely, when I'm doing anything, free motion, swirls, pebbling, loops, feathers, um, micro stitching, anything like that, it's always off the belt. Hitting, running from the teacher, screaming, and multitude of other things. We can't find anyone that will even try, that, that will even try meds for him. He's only six. I don't know. Mm. I miss him too, Amanda. He hasn't been put together because the people who told me they were going to do it in November have had zero communication with me, and I'm very angry about it. So we're going to move on from that subject. Other than that, I'm just going to have a vent day, and you're just going to guys just going to hear me beacon off, and I don't want that. So because that's not who I am. So mm -hmm. yep, yep, yep. Okay. So uh, if you have any other questions, please leave it in the comments below. And I want to thank everybody for joining us today. And thank you to uh, Mad Moody Quilting. I know she's probably already gone, but thank you very much for participating in our chat for the past two weekends. Um, don't, you, I, don't you think I've tried, Mary? <laughs> Zero communication. Back to me. So... Take care, everybody. Have a good weekend.